Hi. Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're going to have vegan pizza. Uh, I know you, I don't know if you guys have seen the video where we actually went to shop for this pizza, but we found it and we put it right here on YouTube. So it should be coming up really, really soon. I'll it take took us, out. yeah, it took us a while to find vegan pizza, but we finally found it. Check it out, check it out. And to prove that this video uh -huh. is very current, we're going to talk about R. Kelly. Okay. You know, sometimes we show videos from like months ago. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm just keeping Some it all the do. way under. Uh -huh. yeah. But no, we're going to talk about R. Kelly, um, <laughs> i.e. him just getting out of jail uh, yes. for what? Um, child support? Child support. So this yeah. proves this is this is recent. Yeah, this is current, guys. Current. Okay. Okay. All right, but check this out. This is vegan pizza with sausage on it, and um, we actually doctored this pizza up. So she put some. Oh, look at that. She put onions on it. We have. Um, what else did you put on it? We put more vegan cheese on it, uh, so they can have that extra cheesy effect. Yep. So this is actually. Um, oh, can they see it? Okay. All right. Yeah, we got the light. Yeah, we got some glow, go. glow worm stuff going on right here. Okay. There, there we, we go. go. The haze, yeah. We, so we got some sausage on here, some turkey okay. sausage right. and vegan sausage. I had to put turkey sausage on there. You put turkey sausage I on did. There? I did put turkey sausage. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you guys. Wow, I thought it was all but vegan. You, but you really can't You can't tell, tell the difference. Yeah. Wow. I can't wait to dig in. And oh, yeah, yeah, you forgot to... Yeah, almost forgot. Uh, Jenna made some um, chicken noodle soup, homemade. Homemade chicken noodle soup. When I say homemade, I mean I made the chicken at home. Uh huh. The noodles at home. At home. Even the chicken stock, everything homemade. Homemade. Uh -huh. And some carrots, broccoli, and cauliflower. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. And wheat noodles. Oh wheat wow. Wheat noodles. And it's yes. still hot. We just made. We just warmed it back up for you guys. We went to the market and we had a problem finding chicken noodle soup with wheat noodles. If you guys know of a brand that actually carries chicken noodle soup with wheat noodles, let us know. But, you know, so if you can't find it in the stores, what do you do? Right. You make it yourself. That's right. Yeah. And our non-sponsored item today uh -huh. is... Right, right. Crystal. Shout and out to the crystal. This hot sauce is the best. It's, you can dress it up. You can dress it down. Yeah, a lot of people like the Louisiana one. A lot of people like the the Buffalo one or whatever. We like the old school crystal. Crystal. Now, the reason why I like the crystal one is it gives you a you know a nice little hint of spice. Not sweet. And it's very vinegary. Mm -hmm. It's not sweet. No. And it's not spice. I don't like too much of a spice, but a hint. Yes. Now, what do Cayenne I do with this? Cayenne pepper. I cook with this. I also put it on my chicken. And mm -hmm. I'm going to put it on my pizza today. On the vegan pizza, guys. We even might put a little bit in the soup. Because I didn't put a lot of salt okay. in my soup. Okay? All right. Freshly open, y'all. All right, so we're going to crack this open. We're going to crack it open okay. right on camera. All right, you got it? I want you to mess your nails up. Okay. Okay, all right, all right. So I'll crack it open. I'll crack it open. He knows my nails are very expensive. Yeah. All right, so this is what I do. I just... My elbow okay, all right. Sorry, tight space. Okay. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's so a guys, little trick. Uh -huh. How you been? Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I can do this part. Oh, okay. <laughs> how have you guys been? You know, we actually had a pair of scissors right here. Oh, thank you. Yeah. That's even better. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope this yeah. video reaches you in great and health. great health. Yes. Mm. So we're not cutting each other off. No, I we're was like actually, twins. Yeah. You know, we're husband and wife, but we're I like know. twins. It's like if I say something, he wants to join in. Or sometimes yeah. we say, you know, stuff at the same time. At the same time, time yeah. That's we why do. I stopped yeah. video recording. Yeah, it, because it's it, like an echo, see, you know. See how he's talking, so, and I can't. I mean, we, you know, I'm, I'm usually thinking the same thing you're saying. So we, Yeah, but you got to you slow know. your brain down, let your okay. wife talk, and okay. then you talk after me. All right. All right, so now I'm not going to say anything. You say something. Go ahead. But I just zip my lips. No, babe, you got, you got something to say? Oh, oh, okay. okay. All right. Is it this way? We're going to have like okay. little signs, all right. all right? Yes, uh huh. Okay, this is going to be it. When you're okay. done, just say this and then I'll join it. Okay, so the symbol is this. Yes. Okay. All right, guys. I can't wait to, to dig into this vegan pizza right on camera. 
like I said, we actually went shopping and we filmed us shopping, looking for the for the pizza, mm -hmm. which was uh, an ordeal, but it was awesome. Anyway, now we have the pizza right here for you, and I can't wait to dig in. And the bonus is the chicken noodle soup, right? Yes. Okay. So not a chicken noodle soup with the sandwich on the side. It's chicken noodle soup with pizza, vegan pizza on the side. Actually, it's chicken noodle soup with the soda on the side. Shout out to little Mama. Mama. Yeah, there we About go. About to say little Kim, little Mo, little little Mo, no, little Bow Wow. Was, I mean, no, my it, was, Lord. it was little Mama. It's it's, it's a lot of um, a lot else. Yeah. All right. All right, guys, we're gonna bless our food. All right, thank you, Lord, for this food that we're about to receive to nourish and strengthen our bodies. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. Okay, so I'm going to let my husband have the first bite. Look, there was mm -hmm. a, a thing I saw on social media. Okay. Who should get the food first? Like, whose plate should be made first? And it's, it's you know, it's on Facebook a lot. And in my opinion, the man should, the man of the house should get the this plate first, so why thank you, dear. You go ahead and get you get a piece that you like. Okay, I'm gonna take this one right here. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm gonna take this one right here. <laughs> mm -hmm. I forgot we weren't. Oh, okay. Oh, wait a minute. Let them see right. that little vegan stretch. That little vegan cheese stretch. Yeah, okay, it's, it's not a lot. There you okay, go. Okay, all right, here That's we go. It. That was that was impressive. Get your plate, okay. baby. Get your plate. Oh, thank you. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Okay, take it. All right. All right. Would you like some hot sauce? Yes, please. You will never see this, okay. guys. Vegan pizza with hot sauce. Let's go. That's good. Mm-hmm. Creamy. And the sauce oh, is good. by the way, we're going to mm. eat a little bit, and then we're going to talk about R. Kelly. Okay? Okay. All right. So. Mm-hmm. Okay, this definitely needs some hot sauce, just because I want a little bit of that, um, a little more flavor. You know, homemade is never like, like Campbell's or homemade soup's never going to be kind of like, you know, See, store bought. The the thing that Jenna does is, she makes when she cooks, she really doesn't taste it as she's cooking. She kind of eyeballs it, and so when she eats it, it's like a surprise. You okay? You okay? That was too much. Okay, here. Hold on. Let me crack open that. There you go. Wait. A oh. That was um cranberry juice I and stared pomegranate, at him. by the way. You okay? Yeah, that's good. It was too spicy. Yeah. You weren't expecting the spice. It was your first bite. And I think you, f you know what? Let yeah. me get this you need napkin. Some, some, some napkins, okay. We haven't had an eating uh, video in since last a long time. I'm not gonna say when, but. Yeah, so... But, yeah. if you want to get, like, a little bit of our videos that we used to do, please make sure you check out our playlist, our mukbang Guys, playlist. make sure you subscribe, yeah, to our channel. Um, I made this juice today. Look at the settlement in it. This is cranberry juice with a touch of spinach in it and pomegranate, okay? So that's something for you guys to try out. I usually... You know, if you guys have a bullet, this is what you blend it in. But if you want to store it, you could store it in this, but I store them in jars. So if you're having a cold mm -hmm. or anything, chicken noodle soup is awesome. But try it to is. do it yourself and make it at home. Now, what did I do? What did you do? Uh, <laughs> guys, you know, I'm going to tell y'all to look in the description box. I don't, you know, I'm not an ingredient person. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to sit here and just tell you everything I did. I feel, be honest, that this is like, you know, a five-year-old can make this. First of all, it's wheat noodles, okay, and um, chicken broth. Yes. And vegetables. <laughs> is it that hot sauce? Is that a, it's the hot sauce. Look, do not mm -hmm. put hot sauce in here. It's too liquidy. Mm. I'm not used to spice. <laughs> I stopped eating out hot sauce for a long time, didn't mm -hmm. I? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. <clears throat> I'm telling you the truth. Do not put hot sauce in here because it sticks to the back of your throat. You want some more juice? It was a nice gesture, though. Let me try some of that. Hold on. 
<laughs> oh, I'm sorry. All right. I'm ready. Mmm, that's good. Thank you. Yeah. Mmm, thank you. Yeah, so... We've been following this R. Kelly thing since it started. I never yeah. did watch the um, Surviving R. Kelly. I refuse to do that. Yeah. I think this whole ordeal is, um, is unfortunate for him. You know, I don't think he deserves this. Okay, what were we going to say? Yeah, that's mm. true. Um, we just watched something today. It's on YouTube. Mm -hmm. It's I think it was his nutritionist. Mm -hmm. She was talking to somebody. So if you want to search it, just put, uh, I forget her name. And maybe it's best for me to forget her name. Just put R. Kelly's nutritionist. nutritionist uh -huh. And she was giving up the tea. Mm -hmm. Now the tea is this. Mm -hmm. That apparently Sparkle, we know who Sparkle is. She's the lady who was like the whack knockoff of Mar Mariah, Mary J. Blige. Oh, Mary you know, J. Blige. The, the bang didn't look good. There's only one Mary J. Blige. Right. <laughs> and she was claiming that she had brought over her um, niece slash goddaughter slash we don't really know who the heck that girl was because it's I was 17. listening today and the nutritionist was saying that, let me drop this. I don't know if y'all know it because we could be late to the party. Mm -hmm. But apparently... You know, back in the day, you know, first of all, let's just keep it real. I'm gonna bring up Drea, his ex-wife. You know, back in the day, R and B people was telling, you know, was was told not to say that they're married. So we didn't yeah. really realize that R. Kelly was married until he got divorced. Until yeah. Drea got onto what was the name of that show? Uh -huh. um, Hollywood exes. Yeah. Nicole Murphy. You know, you know who yeah. that is, right? And it had also had Prince's wife, Mate. Correct. Oh. All right. Yeah. Look that up if you don't know. But yeah, you know, we didn't really know that he was married. And apparently Sparkle didn't either. She did not know that he was married. So apparently she was married to one of his, the members of his group. Uh, what is it? Development? His his original mm. group. Excuse me, let me take it back. Public announcement. R. Kelly and the public announcement. She was married okay, to one of the members. Arrested Development and public announcement. Mm -hmm. That's a whole nother Arrested group. Development is totally different. Okay. Mm -hmm. So she was married to one of those members. I don't know his name. Hmm. You can look this all up. This is all documented. Mm -hmm. And she left him for R. Kelly. She thought, yes. So Sparkle and R. Kelly, you know, he was, you know. A she bird was, in the hand is worth two in the bush. She was, she wanted R. Kelly. Uh -huh. Obviously, mm -hmm. we don't even know who this husband from public announcement is, but we mm -hmm. darn know who R. Kelly is. Mm -hmm. So... She left him for R. Kelly, but R. Kelly was married. R. Kelly already married. Was running his own little thing, <laughs> having his female friends and all of that, and there you go. So she found out that he was married, and of course he did not deal with her. You know, he dealt with her, but didn't want to be with her in mm -hmm. that manner. So apparently, the nutritionist of R. Kelly is saying that of course she just wants to get him back. It's all about. Revenge. Revenge, uh-huh. So I'm going to put some hot sauce on here. Um, what else was some tea that she had, had, gave, mm -hmm. had given on that? Um, that it was a really good That's documentary. She wasn't mm -hmm. on there, but it was mm -hmm. like a visual. Mm -hmm. It was like an audio. But it was very interesting. What else did she say? She was basically saying that, you know, the women on the documentary, not saying who's, you know, whatever happened, but the term victim... It's not technical until mm. a court of law says that you're. I like victim. how she put that. Mm hmm. Yeah. She did say that. She said, yeah, that these are, you're not a victim just because you proclaim to be one. Mm. So we're using the term victim wrong. Mm hmm. Um, from what I've gathered. Let's see if I can do this left handed. Okay, hold on. From what I'm gathering on all of this mm. stuff. Mm hmm. Is that obviously there's a money issue. Mm -hmm. We've been following it and we've been hearing some things as far back as Aaliyah. Now let me think, let me let you know that each state, we are finding out that each state has their own laws on yes, who's the, grown and who's, who's not grown. In the oh. state of Atlanta, 16 is grown. In the state of Chicago, 17 is grown. 
So people wondering why is he uh, was not ever dealt with in those situations. It just really depends on what state you're in that determines on who's legal and who is not legal. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So in my opinion, these women were not made to do anything. They sought out R. Kelly. They sought him out. And maybe things went awry. Maybe things went dry. And now they're claiming that, you know, they were wrong. What do you think? Well, I'm agreeing with you. You know, they, they probably wanted to enter in a relationship thinking, thinking that it would be some benefits to it. And then when it didn't pan out to what they expected, they were upset. You know, so, they took a risk, right? Mm -hmm. And all risks don't pay off. So, you know, why? If you want to think about it as business, they took a risk and it don't pay off. That's just something that you took a chance on. Hmm. You're eating this kind of dainty. I have a fork in there because I, I couldn't get it out with the spoon. With my left hand. It's not spaghetti, Andrew. It's soup. I know, but I'm I'm right-handed, so I was trying to pick it I'm up. I'm right-handed too. But you're using your right hand. Wow. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Ah. There you go. Man, we we we. Mm -hmm. We working with the little space that we have. We are. It's like a little box. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Little box here. Oh, and I put a little chicken. I'll cut some chicken breasts up in here. So why um buy it out? Because they have so much salt in this stuff. I can't. I just can't deal with it. And then oh, my husband. Exactly. <laughs> you actually boiled some of the salt out of the, the chicken. Is that the same chicken that you um had to... um. Mm -mm. No, okay. All right, what we did was we... This is fresh. This is fresh one. Okay, mm -hmm. this is fresh. But she did buy some chicken breast that was already pre-made. It was garlic and herb. It sounded really, really good in the grocery store. Mm -hmm. But when from we Target. got it... Yeah, from Target. Shout mm -hmm. out to Target. But when we got home, when we got home, it was too salty when we finally cooked so it. So I boiled it. So she boiled all the salt out of it. Mm -hmm. And, um... But that's not the same chicken breast. Mm -mm. Yeah. Not eating the mm -hmm. camera, baby. Okay, okay. Sorry. Right. Oh, there's mushrooms on this, right? Mm-hmm. Mm. I added onions to it, mm -hmm. white onion, mm. and turkey sausage. So when you get that store-bought pizza, whether it's vegan or regular, you can always come home and doctor it up, put more cheese, meat, mm. whatever you whatever want. Whatever you want. Uh-huh. You can get like a plain pizza, all cheese, mm. and come home and put your own fixings on there. Mm-hmm. You know? Less salt. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, this is good. Now. That vegan sausage is good. All Kelly did is stay. I'm going to this up. Ain't mm -hmm. nobody saying he's innocent of being a man. Obviously, he's had a lot of women. He's even admitted mm -hmm. it. Who's seen that new, um, you know, that the interview with Gail and him? It was something, oh, wasn't it? God. Yes, you have to search real hard for it, but it's out there. We watched <laughs> a whole 40-minute, 40 <laughs> 45-minute um, interview. And I don't think it's right that the way she interviewed mm. was very, like, he's guilty, very biased, did not really care anything he said. She didn't even care about what the girls, Asriel and mm. the other girls, said. The only reason why I remember Asriel is because that's the cat off Smurfs. I don't even know the other lady mm. name. But um, I think her name is Joycelyn. Joycelyn? Joycelyn? Joycelyn, something mm -hmm. like that. But, um, yeah. Yeah. She didn't even want to believe that, you know, they were saying that they were their, their own, own testimony. Their own will. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's like you have to watch how the media is portraying this man. Obviously, somebody really wants to demolish his career. I mean, this person, she actually gave her testimony. She said, oh, no, don't don't believe it. It's not real. You know, that's, I don't think that's right. Well, they're saying that the girls are brainwashed. Right, exactly. So don't listen to her testimony. This woman was on there. She was obviously not scared. She was serious about what she was saying. 
Yeah, because you know what sparked her off. I can't say it, but you guys, I'm sure you've seen oh. it. I mean, really, that was a really personal question mm -hmm. and embarrassing, too. Yeah, she asked her about her personal life, and so she asked her about hers. She said, you know, that's crazy. Yeah. Well, we all want to know what's up with Miss mm -hmm. Gail for years, right? Right? My thing is... How my... dare she ask that girl that, right? That's <laughs> very embarrassing. Go ahead. Yeah. I, I mean, is, he's R. Kelly for, 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 um... Yes, he's we, a celebrity. Not only that, we all know how R. Kelly... I mean, you ain't gotta ask nobody if that type of stuff happening. It's R. Kelly! Of course it's happening. Hmm. But it's consensual. He's a rock star. I mean, it's happened, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and he's a rock star. Mm -hmm. Right? It's consensual. It's consensual. We uh -huh. all know what's up. Yeah. That's like asking honeymooners what happened <laughs> after the reception. <laughs> you ain't, you know me, baby? You, know, you ain't gotta yeah. ask that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. But, yeah. Kid friendly, y'all. <laughs> y'all know what's up, right? Mm hmm All right. So, um, let's do some hot sauce on here. <clears throat> See, <clears throat> this is what's going on with Andrew. <clears throat> hey, that he hot sauce did get... this pizza. I do. And I want you to eat more of that. I don't know there. how many I've, pizza slices I've had. You've had a lot. I've had a lot. Wait, how I many did you have, second, like one? This is my second piece. Yeah, well, it's good, you know. I mean, if you want to continue, wanna eat to, one if you want to continue to eat chicken noodle soup, you can go ahead and do that. I mean, it's delicious and all. I know one thing. This pizza is pizzas, really good, but it's yeah. only good because I added to it. I'm just keeping it real. She doctored That's why up. we didn't say what the brand was because I'm going to let y'all know I doctored this up. She did. And I don't think that brand would appreciate that. But I'm letting, I'm just, you know, I use brands you know, if I do. And Whoa, then I come look home. look at that. Look at that. Oh, wow. She got, you got, why did you get the big piece? Because I cooked it and I'm the star. <laughs> Do you guys ever doctor your pizza up? I don't care what brand it is. When you get it home, do you eat it just right out the box or do you doctor it up? What oh, do you that's do? A good question. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> let me see if I can give me a nice. No, big... no, no. I, I already <laughs> pre made you one right there. Now, see, now, come on. Show, show him this little teeny piece. <laughs> see, sex, look at this. All over here by itself. Like, this one is yours. That, that one right there. <laughs> He's the man of the house, so he uh. has to have the piece he wants. And I'm only doing this because this is the camera. Because, see, you Look know what's face. up. Look at her face. Oh, no, not that one. That got onions on oh, it. Oh, you know okay. You I'll, give like you, I'll give you the onions. I'll take the one next to it there. Okay. We, we, look, we're yeah. both only children, so we yeah. fight. We really do. Sometimes I just don't know why I cook. Like, he just loves... I spoil him. Say I don't. You do spoil me. Mm-hmm. There's a mushroom there. There's a piece of sausage. Look at that fresh onion on there. And you put... What kind of cheese is that that you added to it? Was it provolone or mozzarella? Vegan provolone. Vegan provolone, uh-huh. Vegan <laughs> mozzarella. Vegan mozzarella. <laughs> I gotta say that. Oh, yeah. No, this wasn't regular. I mean, it's really good. It gives you a... We, we stamped the approval of this. Yeah, it's good. I mean, this is really good. You guys should go out and get you um, a sausage vegan pizza or vegan sausage pizza. Whatever you want to call it. But it's vegan. Mm. So while our colleague talk is this, mm. and I have to say this because all YouTubers say it, we do not condone anything that is Why going wrong that? with anybody. Mm. We're not. We don't condone that. But we also don't condone somebody putting out fake stuff on mm. someone to mm -hmm. ruin them. We mm -hmm. also do not condone no. that. So. There you go. That's our. That's that's our. I'm sorry. Is that your your feel too? I agree. Okay. Mhm. Mm oh, some other hot news. Unfortunate news what? What? in mm -hmm. the news. Mhm. Mm we late as <laughs> an eight month pregnant woman, ain't we? That's late. <laughs> what about that pastor saying that? Oh, he was a pastor, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> The wife that he said, the panhandler and all oh, that. Oh, that story. We knew it was a, a um, farce. When, anyway. when it first came out. He was not yeah. believable whatsoever. No. I was just, like, trying to add up the story. I said, you know, it really doesn't make sense. When you drive down the road, the panhandlers are usually on the left side if you're in the United States. The what? 
the panhandlers are usually usually in the median oh, section, yeah. in the mm -hmm. middle section, which is the left side. And it's always on the left side, whether you're driving up or down in, in, in the U.S. Street, this street mm -hmm. that this happened on mm -hmm. was very, you know, a very, you know, mm -hmm. not the best place. It's somewhere that he grew up as a child. I did not. Yeah, you <laughs> Excuse me. You, you know did. I, I grew up in you, the hood. You grew up, I you did grew not up grow in up this there. area. So we knew, <laughs> we knew that this was not correct. And no, I'm not making light, but every, you know, it is what it is. You know, you know how I am. I always try to lighten mm. things up. We knew it was, it was, uh, mm -hmm. was not right. We did. And this is what keyed <laughs> me in. Not the fact that he said that the lady wanted to give money. Not the fact that, the, <laughs> that he said that, the, you know, somebody walked over and he saw uh, he saw somebody else walking over. Two people at one time. No, no, no. That's not clued me in. What mm. clued me in that something was not right is that he said he got out of the car after his wife was stabbed mm. to run after the perpetrator when he has a car. When the car works and when he could have just, you know, stepped on the gas and, mm -hmm. first of all, ran him over. Mm -hmm. Second of all, took her to the hospital. He didn't mm. do any of that. He ran and then came back to the car an injured wife. That and to sense. find out that the stepdaughter, which is his daughter, mm. her stepdaughter, mm. both did it. They both did it. And they went, and they ran almost to the to the border. The Mexico border. Yeah, they ran for the border. People crazy. Now, yeah. my husband and I, we always like to chat and we gossip and stuff. And mm -hmm. I, just, I said, oh, by the way, he was a pastor. He was an urban pastor in Baltimore. Um, he didn't have his own church, but he was a pastor or a minister, whatever you want to call it. Mm. And um, guess what he did back in the day? He robbed three banks. Yeah, I was following up the story. Yes, you heard it correctly. He robbed three banks. Served time. I think he got 12 years, but served seven. Came out, killed his wife. Now, he didn't kill his wife immediately because he didn't have a wife. He found this lady afterwards. I don't know if she knew he was a bank robber. I don't know if she knew who he was because obviously he's a liar. Mm. And I could say, well, Darren, wasn't he crazy? No, professional liars and narcissists and social parents yeah. and all of that. They can hide and 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 be a and, sheep in wolf's clothes. And in the and the yeah, exactly. I really couldn't believe it. He was calling for social change. We're going to, you know, put a, make a law and name it after her and all this other stuff. It was, wow. Met the mayor. Mm-hmm. Story number three. <laughs> that stood out to me. A young lady was killed during helping her friend escape from domestic violence. Oh, that's another story. Mm -hmm. Very unfortunate. Don't know her name. Don't know where it took place. I just read this story. It's very unfortunate that that happened because I was taught, first of all, you mind your business, right? Some people are not going to agree with that. That's her friend. Mm. But you got you, you got to understand, even though... That was a hostile environment. That, yeah, that was a mm. hostile environment. Mm-hmm. Now, even though you were helping a friend, you are putting yourself also... In danger. Yes. Yeah, so, guys, keep that in mind. You know. Keep that in mind. Yeah. Sometimes it's just best to delete, just to leave the stuff. Like, I think she went back to get her stuff. Sometimes it's just best to leave. Yes. Mm -hmm. Just leave your stuff. Don't yeah. even worry about it. Why? Because all mm -hmm. that stuff can be replaced, but you mm -hmm. cannot be replaced. Right. And like Claire Hustle said, you can care about people without taking on all their cares. Oh. She didn't say it like that verbatim. Oh, she said it so eloquently. But she just said too. it in her Claire Hustle way. She sure did. She said, you need to know how to help people from afar. This is the episode <laughs> when Lisa Bonet slash wow. Denise yeah. had a pregnant friend. And she yeah. was like, I just want to be there. And her pregnant friend was Leela Rochon. <laughs> I got a good memory. Oh, wow. Leela Rashawn? You know who Leela Rashawn is. Mm -mm. The little, the little, um, huzzy and, uh, waiting to exhale. The huzzy, the huzzy and waiting to exhale. The lady with the bad feet and boomerang. Oh, that's Leela okay, Rochon. okay. Oh, okay, okay. I mean, okay. she doesn't have a well-named name, but okay. if you saw her, you would know. I w okay. 
But yeah, she was playing like she was she was pregnant in the show, and Lee, Lisa Bonet slash Denise was trying to take on everything, and Claire was like, honey, mm. you need to learn how to care for our people without taking on all their problems. And that was something I had to learn in my older age, because I used to always want to help people, and then I, I'm carrying all their burden, and their care, mm. and I'm getting involved, and I'm, you know, that's just what happens, you know? Yeah, bag lady. So, mm-hmm. you know, when you read stories mm-hmm. on social media, i.e. I love beauty on Facebook, mm-hmm. when you do that, make sure that you take some type of lesson from the stories. Mm. Because that page always showing the best stories ever. Yeah, yeah. You want another piece? Okay, it's, I'll take the it's small the baby one. one. I'll take the baby one. All right. It's nice. So, little. yeah, we, look um. This, look at this little, this cute little. Little piece. Let me show you how small it is. Isn't he cute? <laughs> Good catch. <laughs> That's how small it was. Um, oh, no. <laughs> he is crazy. Look, y'all. We don't upload as much as we used to. And in the future, we plan to do the same. We're not. But... <laughs> When we do upload videos, you guys, keep it please real, watch right? it, okay? All right. <laughs> guys, thumbs up this video. Like if you haven't already subscribed, guys. Oh, and comment below so we can get to know you guys and um, talk to you. Maybe shout you out in the video. Thanks mm. for watching. Mm-hmm. Bye-bye. Mm.